so I was designing the board in, in uh, KiCad, and the uh, dielectric constant of the PC board material kept bugging me in the back of my head. And I thought to myself, well, let's just get rid of it. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just route the board so there's no dielectric or very little of it. And so this is what I came up with. It's just a suspended, the PC board just suspends these electrical elements out into space. Now it's a little bit odd that the top and the bottom have traces, but they're not electrically connected for the uh, uh, for 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 everything but the uh, the uh, radiator. The radiator has a via that goes between the two, but everything else just floats. And I'm using I'm going to be using one millimeter PC boards, and so it shouldn't matter that there's a connection or not. It'll be it'll be electrically connected, if, even if you didn't want it to be, uh, because it's it's all in close proximity. Um, so. Uh, let's send them off to uh, the vendor and get them get them built. All right. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring the channel and giving me free PC boards. Um, I had these built, so I had uh, several instructions when I had them constructed. Uh, first of all, was one millimeter thick board. Second was no solder mask. Um, yeah, I guess that was it. Those two instructions. Um, it has some holes that allow you to cable tie the, uh, the coax that feeds here and then two other at the edges to, to, for physical mounting. Uh, but yeah, I think, I, think they, I think they turned out great. I got a stack of them here because I, I, I know they're going to be wrong to begin with. <laughs> uh, it's really hard to model these things correctly without expensive software, which I don't have. And I don't want to spend a lot of time on it anyway. Uh, it's not my job. Not my job. It's just my hobby. All right, so uh, let's take a look at what this looks like when you hook it up. All right, so here's uh, one connected. Um, the PC, um, the uh, coax comes to the PC board, and it solders center and 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 conductor or shield center and shield for the for the uh, radiator. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's all there is to it. There's no electrical connection here. I didn't think I needed one, um, and it wasn't modeled with one. So um, yeah, let me get at one of these little. Uh, where's my wheels? <clears throat> I put a wheel on the end of this thing, so it'll be easy to. It'll be easy to wield. Put a wheel so that we can wield it. All right, let's get our uh, nano VNA out and working. Calibrated it yesterday, so it can't be too far out. <clears throat> and does it do anything? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Really, minus 25 uh, return loss. Actually, say it correctly 25 dB return loss. The negative is employed. Um, and it is resonating very well at. 226, 2.26 gigahertz. And where was it designed? It was designed for 2.45. So yeah, I missed by a whole bunch. <laughs> can, can you zoom down? Can I zoom? Yeah, I can zoom. Oh, I, hate, I hate this thing. I know I can hook up a PC and do blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, yeah, it's uh, missed by a quite a bit. Quite a bit, but I have a really good match, which is which is nice. Um, yeah, I know it's I don't know about extractivity and all of that stuff, but hey, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. All right. Um, well, I guess we'll just uh, maybe try its directivity uh, in some manner. See if it actually has directionality or not. Look at that, almost minus thirty sitting on the bench here. Um, yeah, very nice. Um, so I think we can just kind of point it at something and move it around and see if it, uh, see if it, uh, is stronger in one direction or the other. So we'll give that a try. I'm going to give you a quick little close up of these things. Yeah, they turned out good. I used um, black 
silk screen. I've never, I've never used that before because I had uh, I had no solder mask. I used a black silk screen, and it looks really nice. Yeah, I like. Oops, I like that. Oh, that looks pretty good. All right. Thanks again to PCB Way for supplying PC boards for free. Um, I have the Rev board, Rev B boards back. So these are a little bit different length, and um, these are the final version that I'm going to do. I will put these on my share site uh, on PCB Way, so you can do what you want with these. Download them, or build them, or experiment with them. Whatever you want to do. If you do order these boards, uh, make sure that you. So, um, specify one millimeter thick and specify no um, solder mask and if you want to see the silk screen better make sure that you select black for the silk screen so these have a these have a black a black silk screen and you'll see over here it says rev b so these are the rev b boards they'll be the only ones that i have up on the site so you don't, you don't have to worry about that um so uh yeah let's uh well, let's hook it up and uh, see what it does. Uh, so there you go. We're at uh, 2.42. Um, so they still are a little bit long. Um, and I'm going to leave them that way because I think people want different frequencies. And if you need to shorten it up just a tiny, tiny little bit, this will be a good, a good starting point. Um, at 24.5... Let's see if I can get to 24.5. There's 24.6. See, even at 24.6, um, you're still getting great return loss. So they're going to operate fi fine at 24.5 or 24.0. Um, they'll be they'll be they'll be just fine. So there you go. Um, so let me tell you a bit of a story here. So if you remember this uh, antenna, it. Uh, was published up on Hackaday and somebody saw it on Hackaday and their company um, tests antennas. And so they graciously offered to measure some antennas for me. And so I'm going to send my corner antenna and my uh, Rev B boards. Uh, I'm going to send those up uh, over to North Carolina, I believe. Um, and so we will wait for uh, Wait for actual far field testing of these uh, of these antennas. It should be great. I mean, that's we will just have to wait. It'll be really exciting. But anyway, uh, if you want to grab one of these boards, I'm pretty sure they work just fine. Um, they do have a great return loss. Okay, well there you go. I hope you had fun with the with the series here. My idea of a uh, perforated PC board uh, to not impede any of the electrons. So uh, yeah, uh, should be fun.